Hey everyone, it's time to celebrate Chinese New Year again. One of the most iconic dishes that we eat during this time is nian gao, or roughly translated as sticky cake. In Chinese, sticky is pronounced the same as the word for year, and cake also has the same pronunciation as high. So this punny dessert also sounds like year high, as it symbolizes progress, advancement, and growth. This dessert is like a large mochi that delivers a big amount of sticky, caramelized deliciousness. Nian gao can be made with a variety of fillings, but most commonly, you will find red beans inside. Our version of nian gao starts with a signature twist that really brings the flavors together, the zest from an orange and a lemon. This zest brings a freshness to the dense rice cake and its sweet aromas to citrus. Let's start with three eggs, two and a half cups of milk, two cups of oil, one third cup of sugar, one half teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking powder. Whisk this to combine before adding 16 ounces of glutinous rice flour. The Asian market will carry two types of rice flour, plain rice flour and glutinous rice flour. Despite the name, glutinous rice flour does not contain gluten. This type of rice flour will be stickier and sweeter and is used to make a variety of sticky desserts such as mochi, nian gao, and tang yuan. Stir the rice flour, then pour about a third of the mixture into a greased baking dish. We're going to bake this base layer in the oven first for about 15 minutes so that our filling stays right in the middle and does not sink to the bottom to create a sugary mess. After baking the first layer, spread the filling out to form an even layer. Then, pour the remaining batter over the top. Bake this for 1 hour at 350 degrees. About 20 minutes in, you can sprinkle sliced almonds or coconut flakes on top if desired. You can bake it longer if you want to have a darker color on top. Nian Gao has a very forgiving baking time since it is very good at retaining moisture. While the nian gao is baking, let's make a matcha latte that pairs perfectly. No need to Starbucks it. This is super easy to make at home. There are only three ingredients, matcha, milk, and sugar. To nail this down perfectly, mix one and a half teaspoons of matcha powder with two teaspoons of sugar and about two teaspoons of milk initially until the mixture is mostly smooth. When the mixture is smooth, stream in the remainder of the six ounces of warm milk while stirring. When it's all combined, you have yourself a perfect matcha latte. When the nian gao is done, slice a perfect rectangle of goodness and enjoy. We hope you enjoyed this video and will support us by subscribing and liking this video. Zu da jia xin nian kuai le, or Happy Chinese New Year. And we'll see you in the next one when it's time to eat again.